This is a moment that can change your life. You can be doing everything right. Your speed limit, paying attention, staying in your lane, driving steady as an arrow, but then someone else merges into your lane. You are 100% not at fault, but still it can change your life. And in most cases, there's a fatality involved. I want to tell you a quick story and I want you to decide who is to be liable. An immigrant arrives to the US or Canada through an immigration program for truck drivers because of the so-called driver shortage. He spends three to four months to get his class one or AZ license. The company that he was hired on or that brought him into the US or Canada took two to three weeks to train this driver. The safety score of the company is not so good as they are flashing with equipment and hours of service. The driver was sent on his first trip on a thousand mile run. On his second trip, the driver got into an accident and killed a mother and a child. The root cause of the accident was the driver's tires and the driver's inexperience. Who is to blame and who is to be arrested? This is a common story. Until date, I only hear about the driver being arrested. Why aren't companies being held liable? Should the MTO or DOT not be held liable for the death of this child? At what point does the TO, DOT or the MTO shut down a carrier? Since you guys respond so well to statistics and numbers, here's some really interesting stats about crashes that I was able to compile. Here are the five must-know facts about trucking accidents. Since 2009, there has been a 52% increase in crashes with a commercial vehicle. 74% of all fatal passenger vehicles cases include a large truck. Tire defects account for 30% of all truck-related accidents most of these accidents occur during the day between noon and 3 p.m. 68% of all fatalities are passenger vehicle occupants. The number of large truck accidents is increasing. When we talk about huge trucks, we're talking about 18 wheelers, cement trucks, coal trucks, and buses. With so many reckless drivers of such enormous trucks, accidents are unavoidable. And it is predicted that by 2030, 30, it will be the sixth leading cause of mortality in the United States. Let's get into some cell phone stats. The National Safety Council reports that cell phone use while driving leads to 1.6 million crashes each year. Nearly 390,000 injuries occur each year from accidents caused by texting while driving. One out of every four car accidents in the United States is caused by texting and driving. A total of 422 people died in fatal crashes involving cell phone related activities as distractive driving. Transportation and moving facts. 11.8 billion tons of freight was moved in 2019. Trucks moved a total of $772 billion worth of freight in 2019. The trucking industry is responsible for transporting 70% of the nation's goods. Trucks transported 67.7% of goods between the US and the Canadian border in 2019. With the number of miles fleet drivers must travel on a daily basis, combined with the long hours and difficult working circumstances, it is no surprise that accidents and collisions occur. The sector has been on a rise, deadly crashes throughout the year. Distractive driving and other driver habits are commonly to blame for these types of accidents. Due to these accidents, trucking businesses insurance prices have skyrocketed. With this in mind, businesses are beginning to prioritize driver safety in order to minimize potential liabilities. Depending on the circumstances of occurrence, either the driver or the company may be held accountable. If there are any problems when moving the fleet, the cargo manufacturer or loader may be held liable in these cases. A freight broker bond may be used to safeguard the shipper or the carrier. Now let's talk about safety stats. 
The average cost of a loss related to a fleet vehicle accident is $70,000. 4,136 people died in large crashes in 2018. Insurance premiums for trucking companies are totaling around $12,000 to $14,000 in the US and in Canada it's between $15,000 to $20,000. 33% of crash deaths involve large trucks occurred on freeways and interstates. Here are a few more stats for you to think about. Approximately 130,000 people suffer from injuries in truck accidents. Because of the massive size and the weight, truck accidents frequently result in catastrophic injuries, broken bones, back and neck injuries, brain trauma, internal hemorrhage, spinal cord damage, whiplash injuries are just some examples. These injuries necessitate rapid medical attention and in some cases, many procedures can be extremely expensive. In 2018, male drivers accounted for 97% of the large truck driver fatalities. Well, that sounds about right because 90% of our followers are male truck drivers. According to the truck fatality data by gender and vehicle type, male drivers are most likely to be killed in a truck collision. According to truck accident data, driver weariness and inexperience are amongst the leading causes of truck accidents. Because big trucks are not easy to manage, truck drivers must be experienced and well rested before hitting the road in order to assure safe vehicle operation and maximum control. Despite a general drop in motor vehicle accidents, the number of 18-wheeler crashes has climbed in recent years. In general, there has been a 2% drop in motor vehicle accidents during the last few years. This is not the case with larger freight trucks. With the greatest rise in frequency of accidents occurring in trucks weighing between 10,000 and 14,000 pounds, a 5.8% increase in fatalities was especially documented with tractor trailers weighing more than 26,000 pounds. Overall, you don't have to be a truck driver to evaluate semi-truck accident rates or learn about most common tractor trailer faults. Other road users, it appears, are just as vulnerable to such collisions as truck occupants. Nonetheless, much progress has been achieved in regulating and protecting this industry segment. Over the last few decades, strict regulations, sanctions, and other legal stipulations have resulted in dramatic decline in truck accident statistics. As a result, despite brief surges in the number of fatalities or accidents on the roads, it appears that this business is finally coming into its own. So guys, quickly in the video that I posted up, this was actually one of our drivers about a month ago. So the driver, I mean, was driving straight. He was 100% not at fault. He was driving within the speed limit. He was driving in his lane and somebody ran a stop sign and basically was a head-on collision. And I'll replay that video for you guys so you can see. And our driver is just driving straight. Somebody basically, Runs a, runs a stop sign in a head-on collision. Luckily for this passenger, okay, luckily for the driver driving the, 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 um, the car, um, the truck hit him more towards the back of his vehicle and not, and not directly head-on. So the driver is alive and he didn't suffer much damage, but of course, I mean, definitely a whiplash and definitely there's going to be some sort of damages. So it really does suck to be in a situation like that because even when you are at fault, I mean, there's still trauma that the driver suffers. Can you imagine if he would have killed that driver? I mean, what is he gonna do? Take a few weeks off or a month off? I, who knows how long it would take him to recover from that because there is psychological trauma that's going to happen to this driver. Luckily, in this situation, the other driver was not killed and therefore our driver did not suffer too much trauma, but it's very shocking. I mean. Aside from all the stuff that he has to do now, his truck has, he's an owner operator, so his truck has to go to the dealership. Um, you know, it's about three or four weeks of, uh, you know, repairs for his truck. But also, you know, the shock that happens when you hit a truck or another car head on. It really wasn't avoidable. There was nothing that the driver could have done and any one of us could be faced in the exact same situation. So guys, first of all, a big thank you to all of you. Whether you're a truck driver doing cross-border work, inter-US or even inter-Canada. A big thank you to all of you guys for keeping our roads safe. 
In today's video, I brought you some stats about crashes. I wanted you guys to know about what is the leading cause. I mean, for me, I was shocked that it was 30% of crashes with tractor trailers are because of tires. Seriously? I mean, that could definitely be avoidable. Um, and between noon and three o'clock, I never knew these stats, but I'm glad I know them now. So I hope you're enjoying this video. I hope you enjoy the content that we put out there. If you are enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And the next time I bring out a video, you'll get notified. Make sure you ring that bell. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, -E and I'll catch you in the next one.